seven or one. For what? Shower. Shower? Yeah. Okay. You have your last card? No, I'm already in. Oh. Man, listen. I'm about to tell you one thing. All right, if you guys haven't done it already, make sure you download that app, man. Download that Loves Connect app. Whenever you need to get that good shower, all you gotta do is check and see how many showers available. Hit that check-in button and poof, you're already on the list. Uh, excuse me, can I get a shower, please? Oh, well, you're about 45 in line. 45 in line? Yes, 45 in line. Oh, no, 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 no. You get that good shower app, you see how many people is waiting. You can wait right here in your truck until your phone rings and tell you that you can go and take your shower. Ain't that so cool? Man, look, I I am so happy that I found out about that. I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic right now. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm 50 miles away. I'm about to get my shower set. It don't work like that. You got to actually be 20, about 0.25 miles away from the particular loves in order to check in for showers. And by the way, let you know that is 10 minutes. Once that 10 minutes is up, it recycles and you got to do it all over again. Ah! Keenan Advantage. That was one of the places I called. Anyway, with that said, let's get into this topic, man. Look. I got this email or one of my subscriber questions and he said, yo, lockout. But yup, of course you lie. Sit there and organize. Try to be more than just hoes. Um, thinking you sort of tight. Cause someone wrote you lines. Thinking you whores have got flow. <laughs> no, you can record the lies. Ooh, the day is over. It is over. It is done. It's finished. Finito. Man, the day has been crazy. It is 5 o'clock. I've been hemmed up since... I want to say 8. A little bit after 8. But I've, I've been hemmed up all day. All day. But now I am here at the hotel it's called the mainstays hotel it ain't it's simple you know you guys don't need a tour of it or nothing like that you know it's you know just your average hotel bed tv couch only thing i really cared about was the was the internet and the um and that that's pretty much it i only cared about that but but yeah man i mean the day started out pretty good. It started out pretty good. Got my shower in, got fresh. Um, talked to a couple of drivers. Thanks again for the help last yes, night, driver. Anytime. Anytime, I really do buddy. appreciate it. Yes, thank sir. you, thank you. Yeah. How long you been driving? 40, over 45 years, I'm 63 now, and Ooh. I started when I was 14. 14? Stop it. Oh my God, 14. What, then, uh, what, I mean, actually driving the truck at 14? Or like, or you was at a family? No, the old boy had a cattle truck. And he drank a little too much whiskey one day when he worked the cattle. He said, uh, <laughs> hop in that old cattle truck, haul him up there that 100 mile, that's about 100, 100 mile, that's the least place. Mm-hmm. you get back out, I'm going to wait on your house and have you shift that son of a bitch. You said, you'll figure it out when you get there. <laughs> and you just, uh, just got caught on from there, huh? This this your truck, you own or out? Yeah. How long you been doing that? 23. 23 years. Now, the difference between owner op and, <laughs> of course, the company driver, you have your own authority? Yeah, I'm an independent. Are oh, you independent? So I mean, you can being being that you have your own authority. Now, help me out with this because I, I I'm in a couple of groups, and a lot of them. Uh, you ask a lot of them like, what do that mean? And a lot of them 
don't even understand. And being that you, you've been in the game for like, you know, over 20 years, having your own authority means what? It's self-explanatory. You're authorized. You have an authority to run the, the, the roads in the United States and all different cars. I don't have to answer that. Uh, one last question now being that you have your own authority you can run for any company including the majors That's correct. Okay. up under that you don't you're not subjected to any of the majors politics I should say so basically like if they tell you to do something you can pretty much say is that I even got my got my GoPro my little strap GoPro on my shoulder. I got that up and running, you know. I got my uh, little battery pack and my little, uh, I got my little recorder back. This was one of the, one of the items that was taken. Oh, you don't know about that? Yeah, your boy, that's, that's a different topic. I, I'll talk about that at a different time because it's still, to this very day, it still hurts to this very day of all the stuff that happened. Got on the highway, and uh, I'm driving down the highway, driving down Houston, driving down I-69, and uh, Route 59. And, you know, I'm just driving, everything is going as normal. When I come down, you might see me chuck tables on feet A new unit from the mall with my nobody piece On what time when I ride and slide so gently Looking fly like the guy that I was meant to be I pull up in the Bentley just like you think I would Leather seats with extra cushion I make ease when I'm pushing my motor I'm a roller flipping chief in that dozer Hit the gas, fuck the brakes It ain't a scratch on my roller I buy a second and roll up just to get back in composure I take this rap and white modem just make Making cash and exposure Keep the stats on my quota I'm up to bed and I'm holding My balls and my word And I don't crack them for no one Matter of fact, I'm the chosen one Flipping my tongue Oscillate the muscle on Chameleonair.com I'm loud in and the fall bins Playing with my laptop Screens drop, trunk pop Destination I hop so jump down with your boy if you feel it. When I when I come down, when I freestyle, when I when I come down, when I when I come down, when I when I come down, when I freestyle, when I when I come down, with the fifty, hey, I'm still. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, my air pressure dropped. I'm looking at my air pressure. I'm looking at it like, uh, it's not good. It's not good. You know, it dropped from 120 psi down to like 60 psi, and I'm like, uh, uh this, this ain't right. You know, I got it. Uh, it must be an air leak or something. So I pull over to the side, and on I-69 is. It is real hard to pull over on the side of the road, for real, for real. There's there's really no shoulder on I-69 heading into Houston. So luckily for me, I was on a, I was actually, I was in the hammer lane and I pulled over to that side of the shoulder, just enough just to get off the road. Uh, let me, uh, let me, let me turn this off right Uh, all right, so that's the blinker. So I can I can work with that. I can work with that. Well, guys, well, um, here it is. Monday, Monday morning chaos, Monday morning situation, Monday morning. However you want to call it, right now. I woke up good this morning, as you guys can see, you know. But uh, right now, I'm 
I'm I'm held up. I'm broke down. I'm stopped. I'm right here on I-69 and uh, Route 59 heading towards uh, Houston. But well, I'm actually in Houston. I'm not like, I'm a little bit of, uh, of downtown Houston. Uh, unfortunately, uh, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I'm broke down. You guys want to know why I'm broke down? Well, my air pressure, you know, I'm rolling down the highway and all of a sudden I'm, I'm starting to lose an air pressure. It went from, went from a little bit from 120 down to 90, then down to 60, then boom, I had to pull over. So I pulled over and, uh, you know, try to charge it up a little bit. It charged up to 90 and it didn't go no further than that because, you know, I'm, I'm like, okay, so I went on here and looked up to see if there was a TA around me because, you know, I know that we have an account with TA and Petro. But uh, the closest TA was like 96 miles away. So I'm like, OK, well, maybe I can maybe I can get into the far lane and slow roll or whatever. But OK, I'm trying to figure out, like, should I go ahead and chance it? Should I go ahead and post up? Should I go ahead? You know, what, I'm going through a whole bunch of scenarios in my head right now. So I drove and I got back on the highway and the pressure dropped again. So I was like, no, nah, that's that's not going to work. And as the pressure dropped, it wasn't no pressure going to the back brakes uh, on the trailer. So it started smoking. And I was like, I seen that in my rear view mirror. And I'm over here like, mm-mm. That's no good. I noticed, you know, that I'm, you know, I got smoke coming out my trailer tires in the back. And I'm like, nah, man, that's that's not going to work. We're not going to we're not going to have that, you know, you know, roll down the way and then catch fire. We're not we're not working with that. So I got out, got the fire extinguisher and went back in the back. Luckily, it didn't ignite nothing. So I'm still good. So, um. I called in, called the shop, let them know. Uh, shop got a technician to come out, and unfortunately, come to you know from his observation, my uh, my air compressor went out. Your air compressor is done. I was like, man, come on. I was like, how is that possible? And he was like, I, he was like, I couldn't even tell you. Look at this right here. Yeah. Yeah, got that good pizza. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not familiar with this area, but you know, they was like, yo, they got some good pizza. So I was like, man, I'll go ahead and order it right quick. Hook the brother man up with a tip. You know what I'm saying? I've been out here for about a couple of hours so far, so I guess I gotta wait about another hour or so for a tow truck to come out and uh snatch us up and take us to the uh shop and see what the shop can do. Hopefully, you know, it's, hopefully it's a, it's a fix to get me back out on the road today. If not, then today's a wash. Um, hopefully uh, I get back out tomorrow, get this load dropped and make my way back to, uh, make my way back to Ohio. <laughs>
storm Into this house we're born Into this world we're thrown Like a dog without a bone An actor out on loan Riders on the storm And the music was good and the music was loud Jack came out there and he was telling me about the the um the air compressor. He was like the air compressor is out. And I'm like, oh, man. So it wasn't nothing that they can do on the road. So that wasn't that wasn't repair that they can do on the road. So a couple of hours go past, the roadside guy, the, the tow truck guy pulls up and he comes snatch me up. So, you know, he did the damn thing, had to unhook, do this, do that. So, you know, I'm in a I'm in the middle of the street flagging people over. I mean, people on I-69, man. Look, if you see if you see uh somebody in a yellow vest flagging you the fuck over, get over. I'm not I'm not out there for my health flagging you to get over. I'm telling you to get over because there's somebody's working on the truck or whatever. Shout out to Priority Towing for, you know, getting there and getting me over, you know, getting me over to the spot. So, we get over to the, uh, we get over to the spot, we drop the, the tanker, which is going to be hemmed up for like a day or two. Then, he takes me over to the, to the shop, which the shop, you know, recommended this place. So, as soon as I get over here. Uh, get over to the shop. We chopped it up a little bit. Had to wait till somebody come and pick me up and bring me down here. So, fast forward to right now. That's where I'm at. Mainstay. Shout out to uh, the shop. Well, I am here at KCAL's. Right there. Right right there. Right right. Y'all get the picture. Anyway, I'm right here. They got my truck right here in the shop. Up on the up on the scale, they got it right in. Didn't even have to wait. So we're not even sure what's going on with the truck. I'm thinking, like I said, when the, when the guy came and looked at it on the highway, it could be the air compressor, could be something else, but I'm just not getting no air. Um, it's not it's it's not generating after 60. And I know my Air One is not getting no pressure after 60 or before 60, and Air Two is not getting none after 90. It's supposed to be up to between 120 and 125 PSI so there you have it I am still here now I'm just waiting for somebody to take me over to the hotel for the day uh, they should be finished tomorrow maybe I don't know we'll see they'll give me a call if not I'm down here for another day maybe a day maybe a half a day I don't know but um Let's get back in here. Let me go ahead and chop it up with them, and uh, I'll get back to you guys and keep you guys updated. Well, shout out to them for you know trying to get your boy hooked up, and shout out to my man's. I, I, I checked this dude out, a uh, local Houston, you know, Houston rapper, man. Um, his name is not on here, but his name is Sir. City be in jail by 16. Probably be dead by 21. Found life, call it B.I.G. Not me and Queen are living in favor. 
serve yeah shout out to my man serve man that uh that joint that you got me listening to in the car man that was fire i gotta i gotta tell you that that was fire uh name of the track is called triumph so i'm about to go ahead and look that up and probably if you don't mind bro i probably might feature it on this uh on this vlog right quick greatest potential let's get to it like I was crippled, but now I'm walking without a cane Not the net of a fresh needle without a vein Call me a runaway, running away from all the pain That's it, y'all, that is it That's on the 30 for today I was gonna, I was gonna come in and chop it up about uh, I was gonna come in and chop it up with you guys Cause I had a question from, uh, from a subscriber right quick But <laughs> this was like you know, this was pretty much scrapped. I probably might do that for tomorrow's 30 or whatever. Um, but you know, the breakdown was probably much more of much more of uh, appealing. You know, just to let you guys know what happened to me today. But uh, if you guys like these videos and more, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share the videos, cause you know I, I do this for you guys on the lockout man channel you know what i'm saying uh and hook your brother up with some coffee man yo i need something to drink with this pizza let's look at this pizza right quick man look oh man just look at this man this don't don't that shit look good look at man look at that that what what is that uh, italiano or whatever but that shit look good though but anyway i'm about to go ahead and jump on this pizza right quick about to turn on the tv do a little bit of editing get this video up for you guys so you guys can watch it like i said if you like videos like this and more hook me up and i'll bring it to you right now i'm gone i'm about to eat you guys take it easy y'all have a blessed one hook your boy up with some coffee and i'll talk to you later peace